Hi everyone. So in the previous videos, we have seen how we can install APK files on mobile devices by using APM server desktop in virtual as well as real devices. So normally we have a three different ways to install APK file on virtual as well as real devices. The first way is by using APM server desktop and in APM server desktop, we have an option called inspection session. So by using this option, we can install. And in the last two videos, we have seen this option. And the second option is by using adb.exe. So normally adb.exe uh, will show you what are all devices connected to your uh, SDK or APM. But we can also use this uh, adb.exe to install apps on your devices. It can be virtual or real device. And the other approach is through programmatically also we can do that. So we can just write a Java program and uh, we can use certain number of classes so from SDK. And then we can also install app in your mobile devices. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this uh, APK file or mobile app on real device using adp.exe. And to do this, we need to follow certain number of steps. So first of all, we need to execute this command. So before that, as a prerequisite, I have connected my real device by using Visor extension. Now you can see my real, real device here connected and you can just execute this command adb devices and adb or adb.exe both are the same commands. Let's say adb.exe devices also will give the same thing. Okay. Now this command so far we have used to just check whether the device is properly connected and displaying or not. So the same command we can still use to install apk file on your mobile device and to do this first we need to make sure our mobile device is uh, connected and through usb and here i just execute these set of commands first we need to start your server and then uh, sdk uh, server apm server first we need to kill all the servers and then we need to start your server these are two commands are available and then we can start executing adb.exe devices method then we can see what are all devices connected and this is the actual command we have to execute adb.exe install then we have to specify the uh, uh, apk file okay first we need to go to the location where the apk files are present and from there we have to execute this particular command now let me show you how we can do this first of all let's go to command prompt and here just execute a command called adb.exe adb.exe kill iphone server okay just execute this now it is executed then i'll just start server just stay start start iphone server now it will start okay so now daemon not running starting now at and daemon started successfully so once the daemon is started successfully now my sdk server is up and running now make sure your mobile is still uh, up here and then we have to go to the location where your APK files are present. So far we have executed this. So if we can just cross check here, uh, adb.exe devices and it will show you list of the devices which are connected currently, right? So once we have done this, we need to just go to wherever your APK files are present. From there we have to execute this command. Now my APK files are present in the C drive and here apk files location these are the two apk files i have just i'm opening the command prompt here and here in this command prompt so we have just navigated to that location and from this location we have to execute our command so the command is adb.exe install so this is the command we have to execute just a moment let me just type this command adb.exe space install and specify the name of the ap uh, name of the apk file so here i'll just install the first one a android ui.apk just we don't need to specify the complete path because we are already there in the same directory or same folder just specify install android ui.apk right that's it so this particular command will execute and install your apk file on your mobile so this is the mobile i make it ready and connected through visor now let's execute this particular command press enter now it is starting uh, execution so now it is successful so once it is successful then again go and cross check your uh, mobile device let's go to this mobile and now so you can see android ui this is the app which is installed 
now just you can open this particular app now we can see all the options which are available in this particular app so this is another way of uh, installing your apk file or app in your real device or a virtual device okay so there are two approaches uh, we have so far discussed in the next coming videos i'm going to discuss about how we can install apk files by using program so that's all for this video so thanks for watching